Hello everyone, do you often find yourself trying to find that one single line in your entire printer.cfg that you want to edit and then you scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and uh, you missed it so you have to go back, it's, it can be really annoying is the point or uh, for example if you want to disable an entire set of commands for, for example in this case I wanted to in this case, uh, disable the uh, buttons on my Boron Zero apparently at some point, I don't remember why uh, you have to comment every single line in here individually and it can be a really big pain but what if I told you there is that easier way to do this engineers hate this trick click here to learn more that should be the click uh, clickbait title but seriously it can make your life a lot easier and that is using the include uh, arguments in your printer.cfg files so this is my entire printer.cfg file for my Boron Zero for example as you can see there really isn't much, it's just a few includes and then these two for example for some reason and then the save config. These two I'm sure I could move these to uh, the core.cfg as well. So the way this works is once you add an include argument in your config file, essentially it just adds everything in the uh, file it's you're including into your printer.cfg before the firmware is uh, loaded. So for example this core.cfg houses the bulk of my firmware configuration, the stepper definitions, the printer kinematics, extruder, etc. Pretty much uh, everything really. And this is the stuff that once you tune, you don't really need to adjust. So it just has to be in your printer.cfg. So uh, yeah, just replacing that all of that with a single line means that I can get rid of the, most of the lines in, the, in my printer.cfg makes it easier to find what I'm looking for, though in my case it's just about finding the next include command that I want to edit if I want to, for example, let's say I want to disable the buttons for that for some reason like I did in that other printer.cfg that I showed you, I can just add a hash before this and uh, once I save this, all the buttons are disabled. Instead of adding uh, all these uh, commands before the uh, every single button definition in, in my printer.cfg just by commenting this I um, can disable all of those so that's one of the advantages another advantage is for example you can uh, move the commonly adjusted uh, values uh, to a separate include so for example in this case the input shaper is.cfg I move that to a separate file, so it's just a five line file, but it means that I can just open the is.cfg file. I can also do this on, in uh, Octoprint as well using the Octoclippy, or uh, for example, if you have main sail, or probably with Fluid as well, or any other thing, uh, Clipper compatible GUI, you should be able to do this and, and those as well. In this case, I'm just using an SFTP client with a text editor, but uh, same thing. So. Yeah, you can easily edit that, you don't have to scroll through the entire list to find it. So the way you do this is you just have to create a CFG file with whatever you na name you want, populate it with the, you know whatever you want in it, and then edit your printer.cfg to have the include in it. So you can use your SFTP client if you want, you can use nano, for example, you know, just create a file name, I know, s.cfg, doesn't really matter in this case since I'm not creating it, enter whatever you want in here and then exit and then edit your printer.cfg and just add an include s.cfg or you can use the website uh, if you have main sale or probably with flute as well there's probably a way to add a file i know there is for sure with main sale with octoprint with the octoclipper plugin you can go to the config uh, file section just hit and add new file make sure you change your file name to something.cfg populate it with whatever you want, uh, save here and then edit your printer.cfg and make sure you add the include command you want. So it is very simple to do but uh, yeah anyway that's it for this video I just wanted to show this neat trick engineers hate. Okay I'm, st I'm not doing clickbait don't worry the title won't be this <laughs> what I just said but yeah I just wanted to make a video about this so that's it for this video I hope you found it useful if you did please leave a like down below and thanks for watching.